Coffee Break Chinese, Season 1, Lesson 29. Coffee Break Chinese. Crystal. Coffee Break Chinese. We are delighted to be back with another episode of Coffee Break Chinese. And in this episode, we are coming towards the end of this section of Coffee Break Chinese, and we thought it would be useful to do a little bit of descriptions. We're going to be learning about how to describe people and talk about people in Chinese. And we've got a bit of a game this time, haven't we, Crystal? We're going to be testing our understanding of Chinese by identifying mystery personalities. They should be easy to identify. (laughs) Hopefully, once we've done some work on certain aspects of vocabulary. Uh, 你好吗, Crystal? 我非常好, 你呢? 我也非常好. 太棒了. Okay, let's get on with our lesson, and uh, we'll say the the usual phrases. So, 准备好了吗? 开始吧! So recently we've been looking at talking about uh, jobs and likes and dislikes and so on, and and I was actually trying to uh, explain someone, to to describe someone to, to someone recently, and I was struggling a little because I didn't know any of the, the words for physical description in, in Chinese. So, Crystal, can you help us with this? Can you help us to to describe mm-hmm. someone physically? Yeah, definitely. I think the easier part is we can start with hair color. Okay. Yeah, because that's obvious. Yeah. And it's very easy. We've done the colors previously. Right. So we can use our colors in, in yes. this construction. Let's okay. have a listen then. Bai si. Okay, that's that's definitely a color. I think it's white. Right. Okay. And hei si. Uh, that would be black. Mm, right. So now you've got the colors. You just need to learn one new word, okay. which means the hair. Right. Tou fa. Now, is that the same tou as in a tou tongue? Yeah, as your head. Your head, yeah. Uh-huh. So what's the fa bit? Hair means hair. Hair. Head hair. Okay. Mm. So tou fa. And what are our tones there? Tou, second. Fa, neutral. Tou fa. Okay. So could you give us a whole sentence? For example, um, his hair is black or he has black hair. Right. So what you're saying there is he or his hair is black and then you're putting the the at that the type. end. Yeah. So, yeah, he's got black type of hair or something like that. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. So let me try that. Let's hear it one more time. Could I try saying he has white hair? Mm-hmm. Okay, so he has black hair, he has white hair. Mm-hmm. Could we add in some other colors? We could have brown hair. Okay. Brown. Zong se. Zong se. So if I was saying she has brown hair, I would still say ta. Mm. Yeah. Ta, different character, of course. Ta de tou fa shi zong se de. Very good. Okay. What about blonde hair? Jin. Jin means gold. Ah, okay. Gold color. Jin oh. se de. Jin se de. Okay. Mm. So ta de tou fa shi jin se de. Right. Um, and could we say uh, Yes, red hair red or ginger hair. hair. Yeah, so we can use hong, mm-hmm. which is a word that we've, we've heard a number of times. Hong cha. Mm-hmm. Red, red tea, yeah. Red tea, but it's black tea. <laughs> it's black tea, yeah. <laughs> just to confuse things a little. Yeah. Okay, so we can just use this construction to talk about someone's hair. Mm-hmm. Yes, this way of description is easy for everybody to understand and for learners to reproduce the structure of sentences. However, in China, we have other ways to describe hair. For example, if someone has silver hair, okay. we could say ta man tou ying fa. In this case, man tou full hair. Okay. And ying means silver. Mm-hmm. So ying fa silver hair meaning white, really white hair. Right. Um, but 
for learners. This is a very, very good way to start. Could we use the same construction with, with eyes? For example, could we say um, his eyes are brown? Mm, 可以. You can say 他的眼睛是棕色的. So let's see what that would be. 他的眼睛是棕色的. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about blue eyes then? 他的眼睛是蓝色的. 蓝色的. Again, we've, we've done 蓝色 mm-hmm. before. So 他的眼睛 Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, someone might have green eyes. Can I can I try that one? Because I think yeah, I remember yeah. green. Okay, so his eyes are blue. Good. Eyes is neutral tone. If you say eyes, that's glasses you're wearing. Oh, so he's got green glasses. <laughs> okay, so let's just check that again. Eyes. Yes. As opposed to eyes. Eyes. Ah, eyes. Okay, right. So. It's complicated. Perfect. Right. And any other eye colors? Um, Chinese, we, we are famous for black, having black uh, eye, black hair. You okay. Know? So you could see, 他的眼睛是黑色的. Okay. So, 他的眼睛是黑色的. Mm-hmm. so he or she has, has black eyes. Mm. So we've done hair, we've done eyes. What about just general physical descriptions? Like, for example, seeing someone is tall. Mm-hmm. 高. 高, that's the word for tall. Mm-hmm. So could I say, 他很高. He's tall. He's tall, and mm-hmm. using that 很 as a kind of is, but also yeah. very yeah. <laughs> sort of thing. Okay, so what's the opposite? 矮. So that would be short. Uh-huh. Uh, ai. Although I suppose we've got two third tones there, so would it be tahen I? Yeah, you could. Okay. Yeah, but because it's two are separate, they're not a word. All right. So can you see it then? Tahen I. Tahen I. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about if someone's slim? Show. Show. Fourth tone. Tahen mm. show. So he is slim or she is mm-hmm. slim. Um, what if someone's not so slim? You mean the opposite to slim? Yeah. <laughs> Pang. Pang. Mm. Okay, so is that is that fat or is it... Uh... No, pang is a neutral expression. Right. Um, yeah, so you just describe someone who is quite... Robust. Robust, yes. <laughs> okay, so ta uh, hen pang. So he or she is is not slim. They're 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 solid, or something like that. Okay. What about other words that we we might need to describe people? For example, uh, how would you describe someone as handsome? Okay, shui. Shui. That's for boys. Right. So we we can only use shui with males. Mm-hmm. Okay. What would be the female equivalent? Piao liang. Let's hear that again. Piao liang. Right, so you've got a fourth tone, and then is that neutral? Neutral. Mm-hmm. Piao liang. Yes. Piao liang. So, ta hen piao liang. She's pretty. Piao, sorry, piao liang. Mm-hmm. Ta, oh, I don't know where I'm going here. Ta hen piao liang. Perfect. Right, so she is pretty. Or, ta, sh, ta hen shui. He is handsome. Mm-hmm. What would the opposite of that be? Chou. So that's ugly. Yeah. Right. Obviously, we are not really going to describe people as, as ugly, but it's good to know these items of vocabulary. Uh-huh. Um, and can we use cho for male and female? Yes. Okay. Cho. So, not that we would want to say it, but ta hen cho. Mm-mm. He or she is yes. ugly. Uh-huh. Not very nice. We'll, we'll move on from here, I think. Uh-huh. So, we've, we've talked about physical descriptions. We can see people are uh, tall or small or, or they've got blue eyes or they've got brown hair and so on. What about actually talking about... Uh, maybe where they were born. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's something else that we could do. we could add to our descriptions of people. Mm-hmm. What's the, the, the construction that we need there? I think here's a new word we need to introduce first. Mm-hmm. It's was born okay. in Chinese. 出生. 出生. So we have two characters here. The first character, 出, means to come out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 生, meaning to give birth to. Is that the same 生 as in 生日? Shangzhi, mm-hmm. Happy mm-hmm. birthday. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, Chu mm-hmm. Sheng. So, how does that work in a phrase? So, for example, if I say, Ta Zai Mei Guo Chu Sheng. That would be, um, he or she was born in America. 对. 
他在美国出生, mm-hmm. um, so he is from America. 他从美国来, okay, and he lives in America. 他住在美国, but he was born in America. 他在 Okay, right. So, 出生 could be a useful a useful word for mm. talking about where people were born and, mm. and so on. Back in lesson 27, I think, we were looking at uh, occupations and mm. talking about people's jobs and so on. So, um, can we run through a couple of them? Yeah. Um, if we were describing someone and saying he is a teacher. 老师 Okay, 老师. So can we just say 他是老师? So he is a teacher. Or she is a journalist. 他是记者. 他是记者. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, he is a chef. 他是厨师. Okay, 他是厨师. Now, for our identity quiz a little later, I think you're going to be talking about perhaps famous versions of, of these people. Mm-hmm. So how would we say he's a famous chef, for example? Mm-hmm. So you add 著名的. 著名的. Yeah. So we have two characters new today. 著 means outstanding. Mm-hmm. 名 is name. My name is what oh, yeah. 名字. 名字. So outstanding name, meaning someone who is quite famous. Right, so someone is, has a, a, a great rep- reputation for mm-hmm. being a chef in this case. Okay. So how does that fit into the, the, the sentence? Okay, for example, if I say, 他是著名的厨师. He is a famous, or a, 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 yeah, a famous outstanding name of chef, <laughs> type of chef. Okay, good. Could I say, uh, Gordon Ramsay 是著名的厨师? Right. Could I say, um, using another word, uh, Crystal 是著名的中文老师? 哪里, 哪里? <laughs> if I am 著名的中文老师, 马克是著名的中文学生? <laughs> I'm a, a famous Chinese learner, I, I don't think so. <laughs> 你是? <laughs> One other word that we, we learned last time, or in lesson 27, was uh, 商人. Businessman. Businessman. Could I try something here? Could I say uh, Richard Branson is a Okay. Now, I want to introduce you to a new occupation. Mm-hmm. 演员. Which would be? Actor or actress. Okay, right. Let me, let me try this. Could I say uh, Julia Roberts is a famous Yan Yuan. So she's a famous actress. Uh-huh. Okay, anything else that we should know? Another one is good to know is Yun Dong Yuan. Let's hear that again. Yun Dong Yuan. Yun Dong Yuan. What's that? Player or athlete. Right. So can we combine that with different things to make different types of, of athletes? Precisely. Okay. For example, Zhu Chiu Yun Dong Yuan. Because we have 足球 is football. Okay, so a, f- a football player then. Mm-hmm. Right, a footballer. So let's hear football. 足球 足球 What are our tones there? 足 second, 球 second. Okay, 足球 mm-hmm. Then yun dong yuan. Mm-hmm. Right, is that the same yuan as yan yuan? Precisely, yuan means person or people. Uh-huh. Okay, right. So, Zhu Cho Yun Dong Yuan, a football player. What would a tennis player be, for example? So, tennis player Wang Cho Yun Dong Yuan. Wang Cho Yun Dong Yuan. That Cho is the Chiu, same it's word. It's the same Cho. Mm-hmm. Cho means ball. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, so, Zhu means foot. Right. Football. Zhu Cho. Wang Cho. Wang means net. Right. Uh-huh. It all Net fits. Ball. <laughs> right. Um, what about uh, table tennis? Uh, it's easier. You have ping pong, yeah? Okay. <laughs> so you have ping pong chiu. Ping pong chiu. I like that one. Mm-hmm. So could I be Zhu uh, Ming the ping pong chiu yun dong yuan? Very good. Excellent. Uh-huh. Now, Pierre Benoit, who works with us in Coffee Break French, 
片名嘛是“著名的呃乒乓球运动员”。Wow, brilliant! <laughs> Certainly in the local area, he's quite famous. <laughs> Perhaps not at an international level. Uh, what about a, a a swimmer? We've learned swim、mm-hmm. or or swimming pool. Yeah, 游泳 the swimmer, 游泳运动员 the swimming athlete. 嗯，呃，游泳运动员 Yeah. Right, lots of 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 new words there. I think we've probably covered enough of what we need to cover for our identity quiz, and that's、mm-hmm. coming up after the break, in which you have written out or you've come up with four personalities. I don't know who these personalities are yet because Crystal's been working on this herself, and you're going to test us on to to see if we can work out who they are based on their Chinese descriptions. Okay, let's break for a moment, and we'll be back very soon. 再见。We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you can get more out of your Coffee Break Chinese experience by signing up for our full course on the Coffee Break Academy. In addition to the audio lessons, you'll get access to bonus listening materials, lesson notes, and video versions of each lesson, showing the Mandarin words and phrases written out in Pinyin and Chinese characters. You can find out more at coffeebreakchinese.com. Welcome back. Today we are talking about descriptions, both physical descriptions and talking about people, seeing their jobs and what they do and and so on. And we have now a, a bit of a quiz for us because Crystal has chosen some characters, some people, some、mm-hmm. famous people, I guess,、mm-hmm. some dreaming the gen. Right, right, right. And we are going to try and work out who they are.、Mm-hmm. Now, do we know all of this vocabulary, Crystal? And most of them we do, but if we come across any new vocabularies, we explain. Okay, okay. Can we go then with number one, please? You're going to read this out in Chinese. Okay. And we've got to try to work out first of all what it means, and then see if we can identify this person. How? Okay, go for it. He is a Chinese-born man. He is sixty-four years old. He was born in Hong Kong. 著名的功夫演员。Right. Okay. There's a few things in there I've picked up.、Mm-hmm. Um, you mentioned an age in there, and what we should say is that we are currently recording this in 2018. You might be listening to this in 2048. Who knows? True. But、uh, at the moment, the ages that you're giving are based on 2018. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's hear it again,、okay. and we'll see if then if we can split up and see what we're talking about. He is a Chinese-born man. He is sixty-four years old. He was born in Hong Kong. He is a famous actor. Okay, let's split this up. Sentence by sentence,、mm-hmm. you can say the sentence in Chinese, and I'll see if then I can I can translate it into English. And there may be a couple of words I'm not、yeah. quite sure about. Okay,、mm-hmm. go for it. He is a Chinese man. So we're talking about here someone who is Chinese.、Uh-huh. Okay. He is sixty-four years old. Right, that's an an age I recognize. Sixty.、Uh, so he is sixty-four.、Uh, so that's sixty-four.、Uh, yes. Okay,、uh-huh. so he's sixty-four years old. Yeah. 他在香港出生 So that's the 出生 He was born somewhere,、yeah. and uh, uh, 香港 That's Hong Kong, isn't、mm-hmm. it? Okay, so he's born in Hong Kong.、Mm-hmm. 他是著名的功夫演员 Right.、Um, so he's a famous something. I think you said Yan Yuan or Yan Yuan, which、mm-hmm. is an actor,、mm-hmm. and.、Uh, You you said a particular type of actor, I think. Kung Fu. Would that be a Kung Fu actor? Yeah, Kung Fu. Kung、yeah. Fu. So, are we talking about? There's two people in my mind,、uh-huh. and、uh, one's Bruce Lee and one's Jackie Chan.、But、Bruce Lee is much older than sixty-four、right. years. Okay, <laughs> so we're talking about Jackie Chan then. Day, day, day. Okay, well good、done. stuff. So, number one is Jackie Chan. Let's have the whole thing, but in in fast Chinese this time. Okay. He is a Chinese man. 他六十四岁，他在香港出生，他是著名的功夫演员。
Okay, I understood it all that time. <laughs> Let's move on now to our second personality. Okay, this one is slightly different. Let's Are have a listen. Yep. He's a foreigner. He's 92 years old. His hair is white. He lives in London. His family is big. 他喜欢马和狗。Right, okay, I've got a, an idea in my head based on some of the things you said there, but、I'm, there was definitely one word that I didn't get in there. Let, let's hear it one more time. 嗯，他是英国人，他九十二岁，他的头发是白色的，他。住在伦敦，他的家很大。他喜欢马和狗。Right, we're going to split it up now,、okay. uh, sentence by sentence.、Uh, go for it. 他是英国人。Right, you're saying that he or she is、uh, English or British?、Oh, British, British, yeah. yeah. 他九十二岁。Again, we're talking about an age here. So, Joshua R is ninety-two.、Uh, 对对对。Okay. 他的头发是白色的。So this person has white hair. Good.、Uh, 他住在伦敦。They live in London. Yeah. 他的家很大。Right. 大 I think is big. 嗯、mm.。Um, so there's something is is big or very big. Yeah, 家 in this case is house or home.、Oh. We have learned 家人 family. Family, yeah. Yeah, so so home people. Yeah, right. So they they have a big house. Correct. Okay. <laughs> 他喜欢马和狗 So 喜欢 is likes.、Uh -huh. So they they like. Is this 马 horses? Uh huh. Who? Go, is that dogs? Yeah. Right. So we're talking about a person who is British, who is ninety-two years old,、mm. um, who has white hair,、um, who lives in London, who has a big house, <laughs> and who likes horses and dogs.、Um, I think we're talking about Queen Elizabeth here, the <laughs> Queen Elizabeth the <laughs> Second. Yes. Well done. I'm sure there are many other things that we could say about about、mm. these people.、Um, obviously, there are many other things that we can say other than she likes. Uh, dogs and and <laughs> and horses, but we're getting there with the words in Chinese that we know.、Yeah. Excellent. Okay, let's move on to number three. Our、okay. next personality here. This is a very interesting one. Okay. Right. He is a famous comedian. He is a British comedian. He is eighty-seven. Okay, that one's quite short,、um, <laughs> but it has one new character here or、right. word here. Ah,、uh, 间谍 uh -huh. spy. Right, that should help. Definitely should help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's hear it again. He is a famous comedian. He is eighty-seven years old. He is a British comedian. Right, we're going to split it up,、uh, sentence by sentence again.、Um, so, starting with the first sentence. He is a famous comedian. So you said Jian Tie is a spy.、Mm. So are you saying that he is or she is a famous spy actor? Right. Uh huh. Okay. He is a Scottish man. So we're talking about somebody who's Scottish here. He is eighty-seven years old. So he or she is eighty-seven、uh, mm -hmm. years old. So、uh, an eighty-seven-year-old Scottish spy actor <laughs> or actress. I think we're talking about Sean Connery. Exactly. <laughs> Bond, James Bond. Exactly. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so nice to have a Scottish person in there.、Uh -huh. I think we've got one more、okay. uh, in in this episode. So again,、let's... this is very very. Famous. Oh, very famous. Okay, let's hear it. He was born in London. 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 He was born in London
但是他现在住在美国，他是著名的足球运动员，他有四个孩子，他的眼睛是蓝色的，他的头发是金色的，他很帅。Okay, there was lots of information. Obviously, you like this person, especially if you finish with that last sentence, which I think you, you mean he's very handsome. Yeah. Okay, so、uh, let's have the whole thing again. Can we have it at almost normal speaking speed? Okay. Okay. 他在伦敦出生，他四十三岁，他是英国人，但是他现在住在美国。他是著名的足球运动员。他有四个孩子，他的眼睛是蓝色的，他的头发是金色的，他很帅。Right, let's split it up,、um, sentence by sentence. Go for it.、Mm-hmm. 他在伦敦出生。So this person was born in. Actually, we know it's a it's a male because you used "shy," which is handsome. Okay, so he was born in London.、Mm-hmm. 他四十三岁。That means he is forty-three years old.、Mm-hmm. 他是英国人，但是他现在住在美国。So I think you're saying he's British, but now he lives in America. 嗯哼，他是著名的足球运动员。So、uh, 足球 is football.、Mm-hmm. So he is a famous football player. Yeah. Now you're saying he has、um, four somethings. Yeah, 孩子 is new here. 孩子 means children. Oh, okay. 孩子 so he has four children.、Mm-hmm. 他的眼睛是蓝色的 So he has blue eyes.、Mm-hmm. 他的头发是金色的 He has golden hair. <laughs> And he's very handsome. Could you possibly be referring to David Beckham? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Right. So four identities, and the great news is that there are another three identities for our bonus episode、mm-hmm. this week. And we'll be practicing more of these colors and these descriptions and these jobs and everything in our bonus episode. That is it for this episode of Coffee Break Chinese. We hope you've enjoyed it, identifying these mystery personalities. And as I said, there we've got some more mystery personalities for you over on the bonus episode, which is part of our bonus materials for Coffee Break Chinese. You can find out all you need to know about them, the, the video versions, the lesson notes at coffeebreakchinese dot com. Don't forget, you can practice your Chinese over the Coffee Break Chinese Facebook page, where we post regular language challenges and cultural information each week. Just head to facebook. dot com forward slash coffee break Chinese. Okay, you can also find us on Twitter at Learn Chinese, and we are also on Instagram at Coffee Break Languages, where you can find out what's going on behind the scenes with Coffee Break Chinese and indeed all our other Coffee Break courses. And also check us out on YouTube, Coffee Break Languages on YouTube. That's it for this episode. All that remains for us to say is 谢谢再见再见。You have been listening to a production of the Copy Break Academy for the Radiolingua Network. Copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. Recording copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. All rights reserved.